Hello friends, the topic for today is addition and subtraction of signed numbers. Addition and subtraction of numbers are basic operations at the machine instruction level in all computers. These operations as well as other arithmetic and logic operations are implemented in arithmetic and logic unit ALU of the processor. A logic circuit that is defined to add unsigned binary numbers can also be used to add signed numbers in two's complement. In this video, we will present logic circuit for addition and subtraction. We will also give overview of number representation and two's complement arithmetic. Let us start. Welcome to our channel Engineering and Technology for You. If you are not subscribed to our channel, kindly subscribe and press the bell notification so that you will get notifications for future videos. The topic for today is addition and subtraction of signed numbers. Let us start with the representation. The most natural way to represent a number in a computer system is by string of bits. We call it as the binary number. We first describe binary number representation for integers as well as arithmetic operations on them. Let us see the representation. Now, if you consider n bit vector b is equal to b n minus 1 and so on b1 b0. This is a n bit vector where bi is equal to 0 or 1 for i 0 is less than i less than n minus 1. So, this vector can represent a unsigned integer value. So, here we are representing the unsigned integer vb in the range 2 raised to n minus 1. So, b n minus 1 multiplied by 2 raised to n minus 1 and so on up to b1 multiplied by 2 raised to 1 plus b0 multiplied by 2 raised to 0. So, 2 raised to 0 will be 1 then 2 raised to 1 is 2. Like this we will take the powers of 2 and they will be multiplied with the weights of the binary numbers. That is how we represent the unsigned integer value. Now, we need to represent both positive and negative numbers. Three systems are used for representing the numbers sign and magnitude, ones complement and twos complement. Let us see how we can represent using this. In all three systems, the most left leftmost bit that is 0 is for positive numbers and 1 for negative numbers. So, the MSB or most significant bit we consider as the sign bit and it, if it is 0 it will be for positive numbers and 1 it will be negative number. So, here you can see this representation using 4 bit number. So, here these are the bits B0, B1, B2, B3. So, it is a 4 bit number and we have the representation sign and magnitude, ones complement and twos complement form. So, if we start from 0, so 0, 0, 0, 0, this is the binary representation of number 0. Now, in sign and magnitude, we consider as plus 0 because here the MSB or the most significant bit is 0. It is a positive number. Then same is with the ones complement. It is represented as positive 0 and in twos complement also it is represented as positive 0. Then 0, 0, 0, 1 it is plus 1. Here also it is plus 1 and here also it is plus 1. So, the positive numbers are represented with the same values in all the three 
representation. So you can see 0, 1, 1, 1. That will represent plus 7. Here, here also plus 7. And here also plus 7. But negative values, if you consider now the negative values. Now if you start with 7. Now if you want to represent negative value of 7. That is minus 7. Now in the sign and magnitude. It is represented as 1, 1, 1, 1. It is minus 7. Whereas in 1's complement, we take the 1's complement, complement of this 0, 1, 1, 1. So that will be 1, 0, 0, 0. So we are representing this with this. 1, 0, 0, 0. So that represents minus 7. Now, if you take the 2's complement, now the 1's complement of 7, it is 1, 0, 0, 0. If you add 1 to that, that will be 1, 0, 0, 1. So, that will be represented by the 2's complement. So, it is minus 7. So, 1, 0, 0, 1 will represent minus 7. So in this way we can find out any number if you take another number plus 5 now if you want minus 5 now 1 0 1 0 1 if you take one's complement that is 1 0 1 0 so that is minus 5 in one's complement form whereas uh, for the two's complement 1 0 1 0 plus 1 that is 1 0 1 1 so that will represent minus 1 so in this way this represented these are the representations so negative values will have different representation in all the three representations so uh, for one's complement the last value will be minus 0 whereas in two's complement here there is no repetition of 0 and plus 0 and minus 0 as here it is there. Here we have minus 8 and the last value will be minus 1 here. So, the 2's complement is a better representation. It is able to represent properly. Then let us go to the addition and subtraction of sign numbers. Now, Already we have introduced these systems for positive and negative numbers or sign numbers. So this system differ only in the way they represent negative values. Their relative merits from the standpoint of ease of performing arithmetic operation can be summarized as follows. So here the sign and magnitude system is the simplest representation but it is also most awkward for the addition and subtraction operations. Then once complement method is somewhat better, whereas the two's complement system is the most efficient method for performing addition and subtraction of subtraction operations. Let us see how we can do it. Now here to understand two's complement arithmetic, we have to consider a uh, addition modulo n, that is mod n. A helpful graphical device for description of addition of unsigned integers mod n. So here we are represented as a circle with values 0 to n minus 1. Now if you consider uh, n is equal to 16, then we can represent here the values from 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1, 1. So, total 16 values are represented here outside the circle and inside we are representing the numbers, positive numbers as well as the negative numbers. So, this will represent the 0 as we have seen in the last slide and then 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on up to 7. So, 7 will be represented by 0, 1, 1, 1. 
and then we have the minus 8 minus 7 minus 6 minus 5 minus 4 and so on so here this minus 8 will be written by 1000 and minus 7 will be written by 1001 and so on and last is minus 1 that will be written by 1111 so this is the mod 16 system for the loose complement numbers so now we can use this system for the loose complement arithmetic let us see how we can this graphical technique works on the competition of a plus b mod 16 for any unsigned integers a and b that is to perform addition locate a and move b units in the clockwise direction to arrive at a plus b mod 16 so that is what we can just so now if you want to add two numbers so just locate that number okay, suppose you want to add say 7 and 5 now so this is 7 so you blow clockwise 1 2 3 4 5 so that will give you the answer 7 plus 5 that is 1100 that is 12. So you can try any number. Say suppose you take number 2. 2 plus suppose you take 3. So you have to give 1, 2, 3 places. So that will be giving you the answer 0101. That represents 1. So for addition, you just have to take the number and move by number of places as per the second number clockwise that will give you the addition then for the subtraction we will have to carry out the huge complement and then move according to that that many places that is what will be written so now here consider the different interpretation of mod 16 circle if we reinterpret binary vectors outside the circle to represent signed integers from minus 8 to 7 in the two's complement representation that is inside we are represented with the two's complements so now again apply the addition technique so here plus 7 and minus 3. So now here, whose complement representation for this number is 0, 1, 1, 1 for 7, and for minus 3, it is 1, 1, 0, 1. So 1, 1, 0, 1. So to these numbers, we have to locate first 0, 1, 1, 1, and then move 1, 1, 0, 1. Now this is nothing but 13 in decimal. So 13 step you have to move clockwise direction to arrive at 0, 1, 0, 0. So that is giving you the result that will be 4. So choose complement representation of minus 3 is interpreted as unsigned value for the number of steps to move. So we have to find out the choose complement and that will represent the number of steps to move. So in this way we can do the addition of negative numbers as well as positive numbers with the help of two's complement. Now addition by adding bit pairs. Now in the last graphical method we have performed the addition of plus 7 and minus 3. So there we got the result plus 4 that is the actual result. Now here we are adding by adding bit pairs so we represent 0 1 1 1 that is plus 7 and for minus 3 we have the two's complement of 3 that is 1 1 0 1 so one's com complement of 3 is 1 1 0 0 plus 1 so that is uh, giving us the two's complement of 
so this represent minus 3 so when we add 1 plus 1 that will give us 0 carry 1 so 1 plus 1 again 0 carry 1 so 1 plus 1 plus 1 that will give us 1 carry 1 so 1 plus 1 0 carry 1 so this is the carry out now if we ignore the carry out from the fourth bit position in this addition we obtain the correct answer so this will be the uh, uh, case always so we will get the correct result if we discard this carry so in modulo n arithmetic we'll, we are able to do the addition in a simple way so let us come to the rules for addition and subtraction so the rules governing addition and subtraction of n bit signed numbers using two's complement representation. So we can state here if we to add two numbers, add n bit representation, ignoring the carry out bit from the most significant bit. That is the MSB position. The sum will be algebraically correct value in two's complement representation if the actual result is in the range. 2 raised to n minus 1 to uh, 2 raised to n minus 1 minus 1 to minus 2 plus so this is the range and to subtract two numbers x and y that is to perform x minus y form the two's complement of y then add it to x using the add rule so simple add rule you have to apply and do the addition Again, the result will be in algebraically correct value in the two's complement representation if the actual result is in the range minus 2 raised to n minus 1 to 2 raised to n minus 1 minus 1. So, just now we have seen the example of addition of 7 and minus 3. So, the result we get is plus 4 in that case. Then let us come to the some more examples on addition and subtraction of using the two's complement. So here we take simple example first, say plus two plus three. So this is representing plus two, this is representing plus three. So zero plus one, one, one plus one, zero, carry one. So that is coming here. So we get five. Zero one zero one. Then next example, we take plus 4 minus 6. Now plus 4 we represent with 0, 1, 0, 0. Now minus 6 when we want to represent. So 6 is 1, 1, 0. So 0, 1, 1, 0. So if we represent it is in 1's complement, it will be say 1 0 0 1 so plus 1 so that will give us 2's complement that is 1 0 1 0 so minus 6 will be written by 1 0 1 0 so now when we perform the addition so 0 0 we are going to get 0 then 0 1 1 1 plus 0 again 1 and 0 plus 1 again 1 so we get the result as 1 1 1 0 now this is in the Two's complement form, so it will represent minus two. So we are getting algebraically the correct result. Then similarly, if you take minus five, now this is minus five, and this is minus two, and if you try to add them, now this is minus five. So this is the two's complement form. We are represented as one zero one one, and here one 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 zero. So if you add them 1 plus 0 1 1 plus 1 0 0 plus 1 uh, 1 plus 1 0 we are getting so carry is there so 1 plus 1 we are getting 0 again carry is there 1 plus 1 plus 1 so we are get 1 and carry 1 we are discarding the carry so result we get is 1 0 0 1 so that is in two's complement so it will represent minus 7. So in this way, you, uh, if you take the example which we had just taken, 
zero one 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 that is seven plus minus three so one one zero one that is the two's complement of three so that will give us say one plus one zero one plus uh, this carry it will be zero again this carry will be there so one plus one plus one that will be one carry one so one plus one zero carry one so we have to discard the carry so we are going to get zero one zero zero so that is plus four so in this way you can uh, just check all the uh, say additions here now here uh, this is subtraction this is plus 2 minus 4 so plus 2 minus 4 so if you try to do it so this is plus 2 now we take the uh, two's complement of this so that will give us 1101 one, one. so if you add 0 then 1 now here 0 plus 1 again 1 0 plus 1 again 1. So 1 1 1 0. So that represents minus 2 because it is the 2's complement form. So uh, plus 2 minus 4 will give us minus 2. So in this way we can perform the addition and subtraction using 2's complement. So let us come to the logic circuits now. The addition here addition and subtraction of numbers are basic operations at the machine level so these are generally performed with the help of the uh, alu which also perform the other logic operations now uh, we have already discussed that whose complement is the best representation for performing addition and subtraction and we also uh, seen that the Two's complement n bit sine bit can be added using n bit binary addition, treating the sine bit same as the other bits. Then, in other words, logic circuit that is designed to add unsigned binary numbers can also be used to add signed binary numbers. So, let us see uh, some of the circuits for this. Now, here, if you look at this logic specification for the one stage of binary addition. So, we will consider this xi, yi and the carry in ci, three inputs. So, this is the truth table for the full adder. So, it will have the outputs as sum and carry. So, 0, 0, 0. So, the sum will be 0, carry will also be 0. So, 0, 0, 1 we will get sum as 1, carry will be 0. So for this also we will get sum as 1, carry will be 0. Now for 0, 1, 1, we will get sum as 0, carry will be 1. Then for 1, 0, 0, this will be 1, sum will be 0, uh, sum will be 1, carry will be 0. For 1, 0, 1, now this sum is 0, carry is 1. For 1, 1, 0, because we are having two ones here, so this sum is 0, carry is 1. And for the last 1 1 1 we are getting sum as 1 as well as the carry as 1 so here the logic expression for this we get it uh, these are all but whenever we are getting ones they are put here in the logic expression and if we uh, Simplify this using Boolean algebra, we are going to get xi xor with yi xor with ci. That is what uh, you will study in the digital electronics, the details. Then carry, for carry we get the expression uh, yi ci xi ci plus xi yi. That is nothing but the and these are the AND operations which are added. So, AND and OR git will, will be able to represent that. Now, here if you uh, see the operation x plus y is equal to z. Now, here 
7 plus 6 we are getting 13 so if you take this 7 and there is 0 1 1 1 and 0 1 1 0 that is 6 and if you try to add we are going to get now this is 1 plus 0 1 1 plus 1 0 so carry is 1 so this is added here so 1 plus 1 plus 1 we are getting to get 1 again carry is there so 1 so in this way we will get 30 1 1 0 1 so carry in and carry out so these are uh, we have to use them for the addition So here we have seen that root table sum and carry and also uh, logic expression for this we have seen and then uh, 4 bit unsigned numbers 7 and 6 they were added. So each stage of the addition process must accommodate a carry in bit we use CI to represent the carry in to stage i which is the same as carry out from stage i minus 1 so this is what is the representation so the logic circuit for this single stage can be implemented using three xor gate say three input xor gate xi yi and ci they are input to the xor gate and that will give us the si or sum output and this uh, three AND gates out of output of these three AND gates is given as input to the OR gate. So that will give us the carry out CI plus 1. So the carry out function is implemented with AND and OR circuit. So we represent this full adder with the help of, so these are the inputs X and YI, these are the inputs and uh, pi is another input that is the input carry and we get some si and the carry out pi plus one so this will be the carry for the next stage so a convenient symbol we have shown for the pull adder now let us go to the ripple carry adder so here we are doing the cascaded connection for n pull adder blocks that can uh, add two n bit numbers so you can see here least significant position this is the full adder so that is represented with x0 y0 and the output is s0 t0 is the input carry and then c1 is the output carry so that is given as input to the next full adder so this is having the input x1 y1 and we will get the sum as s1 so and so on if you go on this is c n minus 1 that will be given as the input to the nth stage or most relevant bit position so here we have the inputs x n minus 1 y n minus 1 and we get the output sum as yes n minus 1 and the carry will be pn so the carry in c0 into the least significant bit position provides a convenient means of adding one to a number for instance forming the two's complement of number involves adding one to the one's complement of the number so the carry signals are also useful for interconnecting k adders to form a adder capable of handling input numbers that are kn bits long as shown here so here we are just each of this is n bit adder now so y0 y uh, y0 x0 these are the inputs and so on up to y n minus 1 x n minus 1 similarly now we have the next y n y n xn and it will go up to xn minus 1 and y 2n minus 1 then so on we'll get up to xkn minus 1 ykn minus 1 and this will be the sum it will give us the sum for each of those sn then 
yes 2n minus 1 then yes kn minus n and yes kn minus 1 like that and this will be the carries then let us go to the addition subtraction logic unit the n bit adder so can be used to add two's complement numbers x and y where x n minus 1 and y n minus 1 bits are sign bits so the carry out bit cn is not part of the answer we are discarding the carry bit so arithmetic overflow occurs when the sign of the two operands are the same but the sign of the result is different so at that time the arithmetic overflow will occur therefore a circuit to detect overflow can be added to the n bit adder by implementing the logic expression so overflow will be equal to x of n minus 1 y of n minus 1 and sn minus 1 bar plus xn minus 1 bar yn minus 1 bar into sn minus 1 so this is the equation for the overflow it can be shown that the overflow occurs when the carry bits cn and c n minus 1 are different so therefore a simpler circuit for detecting overflow will be using that is uh, cn xor with cn minus 1 so that is with the help of the xor gate then addition subtraction logic unit here we are showing the diagram for this so in order to perform the subtraction whose complement of the numbers x and y we form a two's complement of y and add it to x so the logic circuit here can be used to perform the addition so here we are having these are the add sub control that is used here for each of the inputs to the uh, xor gate and this is uh, this is the carry in t0 and here we have the x0 x1 x n minus 1 these are other inputs and these are the uh, y inputs along with the add sub control and this is the n bit adder the output will be the sum here s yes, 0 s yes, 1 up to s yes, n minus 1 and finally we get the carry out c n so if you uh, look at this the line set to 0 for addition so this line applying y change unchanged to one of the adders inputs along with the carry in signal t0 of 0 so when uh, we are met, making the line 0 it will perform the addition and then when add sub control line is set to 1 the y number is once complemented by xor gate and c0 is set to 1 to complete the two's complement of y so that is what we have to find out the two's complement of the number by taking the once complement and then adding one to that so two's complement of a negative number is done exactly the same manner as the positive number and an xor gate can be added to figure to detect the overflow condition cn xor with cn minus 1 so we can just add a, a xor gate for detecting the overflow condition so this gives us the addition subtraction logic unit so with this we come to the end of this video if you have any queries you can contact me on facebook twitter gmail or instagram then if you like the video press the like button share with your friends and subscribe to our channel engineering and technology for you and don't forget to press the bell icon for getting notifications about future videos and thanks for watching have a nice day